Hey there, I'm making this to suggest that you learn about the ideas of Thomas Saws and uh, check out some of his books. And the author is Thomas Saws, he's a psychiatrist. I believe he passed away in the year 2012 at the age of about 92, I believe. Um, he's written about 35 books. Some of his most well-known books are uh, The Myth of Mental Illness, of insanity, the idea and its consequences, our rights to drugs, the case for a free market. And of course there's about over probably over 30 others. Um, psychiatry, the science of lies, suicide prohibition, the shame of medicine, fatal freedom, the ethics and politics of suicide. Okay. And again there's more. He's a libertarian. Again, he was a psychiatrist. His, he advocates a few things um, based on various uh, lines of reasoning. He advocates for outlawing civil commitment and banning the insanity defense, and then also uh, not treating adults like children. And uh, you know, again, the book uh, are. Our right to drugs, the case for free market, he argues, and reasons that uh, we should, in principle at least, uh, adults should not be prohibited from using any substance in their body um, for a variety of reasons. I think if more individuals embraced his ideas, we would live in a more just and free society where individuals experience more authentic freedom and also take on more personal responsibility. I think both of those would be good things. Um, suicide, I believe, is roughly the number 10 cause of death, at least either in the United States or on Earth or both. Um, but it, my understanding is it kills about a million humans each year. Uh, it kills about a million humans each year on Earth, between like between about 800,000 and a million, roughly. I'm going off memory when I, when I cite that st statistic, but I'm pretty sure I'm about right. Uh, and, and in the United States, I believe the number is about maybe 35 to 40,000 roughly per year who engage in suicide. And, you know, I do hope that we can have no suicides happening. I hope that all adults want to live on Earth. Um, however, Thomas Saws's, uh, him, the psychiatrist, his ideas, uh, I believe, will help us move in a direction where we can uh, allow individuals to have open, honest conversations without the concern of potentially being locked up in a uh, psychiatric ward against their will. So, And Thomas Saws has uh, expound, uh, he has in great depth described the different reasons and lines of logic morally, philosophically, epistemologically, that's the right word for it, epistemology, using, uh, yeah, it's over my head right now, uh, that one word, but I hope you know what I'm saying. Um, anyway, I'd recommend you read his books. I hope you become informed on his ideas so you can uh, see psychiatry for what it is, um, involuntary psychiatry. Thomas Saws was not against psychiatry as long as it's voluntary. Uh, he was one of his books, uh, Anti-Psychiatry, Quackery Squared, he talks about how he is not a, you know, he's not an anti-psychiatrist. He is a libertarian who believes in uh, consenting adults being able to exchange psychiatric services if they want to, but being against involuntary uh, psychiatric exchanges um, between, uh, you know, supposed doctors and mental patients. So I'll end it there. Again, I'm just trying to help spread the ideas of Thomas Saws, which I believe will help us to live in a more just and free society, ultimately. Um, and that's why I am making this, and I hope you uh, do choose to check out some of his books. I believe his essay, um, The Myth of Mental Illness, which was transformed into his um, first major book, uh, is available online if you search for it, just The Myth of Mental Illness. You can read, it's a, it's a good maybe, what, three or four or five or six pages, I believe, um, if you want to get a general sense of 
him. Um, he's published many articles as well, and some of his articles are available online, unless they've been taken down. But in the last few years, I've read quite a few of his articles online um, that he was publishing up in the last uh, few years of his life. Up, oh, yeah, a cu couple years of his life, maybe even, even in the last year. So those are online, at least they were. Uh, Thomas Saws, again, Thomas, and then Saws, S-Z, A-S-Z, Saws. So anyway, and of course, in the title here. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, watch my other videos, visit my website, and have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or night, whenever and wherever you may be.